I really do love this night. And I guess that most of you do as well, or you wouldn't be here. It is such a special night. It is a unique night, quite unlike any other Mass during the whole year. And if I had to try to summarize this night in just a few words, if I had to try to describe the overall feeling or essence of what we do in this holy place, I guess I'd put it this way. Tonight is truly a celebration of our Catholic faith. And after all, the Eucharist is front and center at this night. We gather to give thanks for this sacred meal, this God moment of the highest order. We come together around the table with joy in our hearts in knowing that our Lord and our God comes to us in a very concrete, visible, tangible, real way. We will even walk with him solemnly together in song and procession and to the altar of repose as a sign to the Lord that we will follow the Lord wherever he goes. And then we will sit in silent prayer in the presence of Jesus, reflecting on his great love for us, a love poured out for us on Calvary, while at the same time reflecting on how we can best love him back. It truly is a celebration of our Catholic faith. And Holy Thursday is also the traditional day when we take time to give thanks to God for the ordained priesthood. Priests at the Chrism Mass stand before God, before their bishop, before the people of the church, and they recommit to their call and commitment to serve. Priests across the world will stand before their assemblies this night reflecting on their own individual vocations, their own faith journeys that led them to this unique path, grateful for the tremendous privilege of serving the faith community in this way. It truly is a celebration of our Catholic faith. And today is also the day when many parishes will formally receive the holy oils that have been blessed and consecrated by the bishop the oil of the sick, the oil of the catechumens, the sacred chrism, oils used for the sacramental life of the church, those moments set aside for the holiest moments of our faith life. These oils are signs to us that God is never far away, but rather always with us, signs that God wants to heal us, and God wants to transform us, and God wants to forgive us every step of the way from birth until death. These oils also show us how the created things of this world, even the simplest ordinary things, can be channels of God's grace. And you know what? That even includes you and me. It is truly a celebration of our Catholic faith. And so gathering on this night, seeing and experiencing all that is Catholic can truly strengthen our faith. It can fill our hearts with a tremendous amount of gratitude. It can help us to be more confident that we are in the right place, that this indeed is the family where we can find a home that this is the holy ark that we call the Catholic Church, and that's where we can experience peace and safety and hope. And so for this holy faith community to which we belong, for all of the spiritual treasures that the Church provides, for all of the wisdom and the guidance that it strives to share, for all of the sacramental, grace-filled moments it offers us, we simply give our heartfelt thanks. We give thanks that we don't have to simply experience a God who is out there somewhere, but rather that we can encounter him in this living, dynamic, holy thing we call church. Put simply, tonight is one of those nights that I am especially grateful for my Catholic faith. But there is one more 
component about tonight, the washing of the feet. And we may think that it's not as important as the other things that we do tonight. Maybe we think that it's just a nice, warm, fuzzy thing we do once a year. Maybe we don't think that it's central to who we are or what makes us Catholic. And if that's how we think, we would be so wrong. All the beautiful traditions of our Catholic faith, all of the treasures the Church provides, all of the grace-filled moments, all of the security we feel, even the profound God moments we call sacraments, matter little if we don't get this other piece and that is to care for one another, to embrace one another, to help one another, to reach out to those in need, or in a phrase, to love and to serve one another. And that's a hard one for all of us to hear, and myself included. You know, I know I have a long way to go in that department, and maybe we're okay with some of the other things, I'm okay with the worshiping and the praying and the teaching and the doing what the church expects me to do, but to love unconditionally and not just once a year or once in a while or when I feel like it, doing things I'd rather not do. I know I have a long way to go and maybe you feel the same. And so as we experience this beautiful holy night, we give thanks to God for all he does for us and within us every second of the day. And as we thank Jesus for his profound act of love for our sake, and as we are moved by tonight's specialness and uniqueness, let us not forget the most important part about being a true disciple of Jesus Christ, and that is to love one another because that is the greatest way to celebrate our Catholic faith.